www.noodleboss.com. Name is Ty, and on this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the bitrate of an MP3 file when exported on Adobe Audition. Uh, open up Adobe Audition. I'm using 3.0. Uh, it would work on some other versions like 2.0 and the older 1.5, I guess. Um, the the problem though, or the big inquiry about that is uh, when exporting MP3 file, there are some users uh, when they export the original file is 32, 48, 256 for the bitrate. However, the bitrate is whenever they export that after editing, it always defaults to 128. So that's the thing that we're trying to solve here. So try to look up for an MP3 file. Sorry, bring that back. Go to multi-track, and there are a lot of ways now you could load that. So let's try this audio file. That's my folder here. One of my favorite songs. Let's try this. Ghost of Days Gone By by Ultra Bridge. All right, so it's loading that and make adjustments. Uh, let's say you cut that. Uh, you're a multi-track right now, right? So um, move it, and let's break this a little bit too. Uh, it's it's no no. Let's let's not edit that. It's it's like that. And what you want to do is change the bit rate not to 128. Let's say you'd want to trim that down to 32, uh, or 64, or food, what whatever the variable is. The issue again is though it's always defaulting itself to 128. So that's the one I'm trying to resolve here. So double click, or if you do mix that up for uh, stereo, you could also do that. So save this, Control A, so save the selection, right click over that, save selection, and go to desktop. All right, so you know how to save. Again, the problem is just exporting here you're on the part of exporting. Again, let's repeat that. Control A, you could also do that file, save as. You could do that, or you could do that here. Control A, right click, save selection. However, you would want to do that, it's going to work. So let's try this. Here, file, save as. Go to your uh, folder path. And let's try this. You say export uh, 32 bit that's what we're going to use for the title for now just to check if it's really going to work here uh, something that says options tab this is what you're missing out though click on this panel right here and it's going to bring you attributes to an mp3 format um, constant bitrate if you if you just want to use a constant bitrate for variable bitrate, you're going to be using high uh, high dimensions of music. Like you've used a lot of ups and downs, low tones and high tones. And um, MP3, just use that as an MP3. And take a look at here. It's defaulted to 320. All right. If you want to convert that to mono MP3, so you could use just one of your headsets, either left or right, you could use that. But if you do want to use that to stereo, and this is where you make changes for the variable, um, for for the bit rate. Take a look at that, ranging from 20 up until 320. So as I mentioned earlier, we would want to change that to 32 or whatever uh, variable you'd want to use here. So let's try 32 because maybe the the purpose is we're trying to make that little a little compressed for the file to save up a little, uh, a little space. Okay, so again, that's the only thing that you have to do. Just uh, select the the bit rate here, or the combination for uh, bit rate and stereo or mono, and just click OK. And again, if you want to review before, you would want to click on Save, go back, and it's going to say 32 already. Okay, so click on OK and you just click on Save. And it's going to save that into a 32 bit file. Alright, so we're going to compare. Close this. No, we're not going to save. Go back to that folder that you have 
Click on library. No, no, no. It doesn't include though. Here. Let's copy this. Alright, so it's been copied. This is the one that you exported. This is the original file. So let's check that. Go to your desktop and click on the export file. Take a look at the details right here. Let me pull this so you can see. All right, so again, you highlighted export file. All right, so that's the one that we created 32 bit. Look up for the file that says bitrate. Here, it says 32. All right, so you've made changes already. This was the original file. Take a look at the bitrate, it was 320. So that's the only thing that you have to do to make adjustments on a bitrate. The thing known that you have to make sure if you'd want to use a low combination for the bitrate or I mean not combination but low variable for bitrate, you'll want to play that first if it's going to still sound alright. So again, uh the problem there is it's it degrades the quality of your MP3 file. Alright, so it's it's not going to be much of a change when listen to on a headset but if you're going to be using a round 7 channel uh audio system then you lose a lot of quality so again in changing the bitrate of mp3 files you just have to do it that way for more video tutorials you can check out our youtube channel www.youtube.com Noodle Factory, if I've changed that right, I forgot what's the YouTube channel. Anyway, just go to our website, www.noodleboss.com. Yeah, my name's Ty. Ciao.